Good morning. So I'm about to slap a little makeup on, get ready, go to Sephora, cause I need to do some shopping. You know, I'm in a new place, loving Texas. First off, I wanna check out Texas shopping situation, Sephora, what have you. And then also I need to restock a few things. Like I, she is low on a few makeup necessities. So welcome to today's vlog slash haul slash just hang out with me. Let's chit chat beauty and all the good stuff. I need to wake up. I'm gonna have matcha. This is what I'm drinking lately. Are you guys matcha experts? I kind of am almost forcing myself to like it more than I do. Tell me what your favorites are or how you make it yourself if you're into this whole thing. I don't make this the correct way, by the way. I break all the rules. It's like down the hatch. That's it. This tastes like horse hay to me. Like it tastes like horse's hay. Like the way hay smells is what matcha tastes like to me, but I bought it and it makes you feel really like, like very A plus. So down the hatch. I did that one day actually, it was a big mistake. I need like one of the whiskers, the whisk things. I need a whisker thing. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I'm a pro vlogger now. My vlogging skills are atrocious. This is embarrassing. Puka, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> okay, it's makeup time. Woo! There's someone mowing the lawn. The day that I go to Sephora, The Price is Right is doing something here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I want to spin the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much. What have I done? Oh my gosh, it is amateur hour right now. I'm getting it though, it's super beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. It's called Alien. Got it's it. out of this world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wild orchid. Oh yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love makeup. Okay, way too much. It, like, it shocks me how much I still like feel feeling. Podium, 
chloride. This is salt and water and hypochlorous acid. That's it. This, you are paying $28 for a bottle of water. Friends, what is this madness? What is this madness? Sodium chloride. It's the chemical name for salt. So it's literally salt water. It's this salt water. $28 bottle of salt water. I think we need to do a DIY. We're going to do it ourselves. It's a DIO, do it ourselves together, fam. It's a new thing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh. We're gonna see if the barking ensues or if we're okay. Are we gonna be okay? Are we gonna be okay? Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hello. We're doing a haul. We hear the car, we hear the car. Let's wait for it. We, I don't know what to expect. Puka shell, puka shell. <laughs> Ooh, the people missed you. Oh yes, they did. Oh yes, they did. Okay, I gotta get to the makeup. I'm gonna put you down and you're not gonna bark. Hey guys, I just got back from Sephora. You saw all of the amazingness on the go. I'm trying to incorporate more out and about vlog elements in my videos. So thumbs this up if you're enjoying that. Make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, and let's get into <laughs> my massive, oh my God, wow, that actually like hurt my arm lifting this. Uh, my shopping adventure at Sephora. It is, I mean, these guys are gonna bust off. There's a lot in here. We're gonna dive in first with the brand new pastel palette from Natasha Denona, you guys. I love some good pastels. Now, I do really love my neutrals and I've kind of been in this phase right now. There's a quote that says something along the lines of, I don't want the makeup to wear me, I wanna wear the makeup and I am all about that. I have scaled it back even more recently where my routine is more natural. And then something like this comes along and I'm like, you know what though? I kind of want like a minty matte pastel green. This is speaking to me on a different level. I just think this is a really fun, pretty springtime slash going into summer palette. And I love the Natasha Denona formula, so I'm really jazzed to try this one out. I did get a body product. I think this might be the only body product that I picked up, but you guys, Pharmacy, they have great face masks. You guys have seen me put that one mask on. I was like, it's burning, it's heating up. I don't know, is this good, is this bad? And I have really, really been loving that one. And so I wanted to try more from the brand. This is the Honeymoon Glow Body. It has 12% AHA and BHA, and this is something that you use a couple times a week. You put this on to improve texture and tone. It just exfoliates the skin without using like a nitty gritty, like a nitty gritty, without a manual exfoliant. And I've never tried anything quite like this. I think that moving into shorts and dresses season, this might be nice on the legs, and I will let you know how this goes. It's the wind here is, is like on and off and on and off. Oh my, are we gonna blow away? Like what just happened? I'm not used to the weather here. I'm not used to the practice siren warning thing. I'm not used to tornadoes coming like after a really sunshiny day, all of a sudden like downpour and like there's a warning or, and now it's turned into a watch from a warning and the whole thing, you guys, I am new to this. I thought being on edge about earthquakes was like, yeah, like I'm cool, like I can hang. Like everyone's like, oh, you're going to Texas. Watch out for the weather and those tornadoes. And I'm like, you know what? I'm from Los Angeles and we get earthquakes. So we get no warning. And I go back and forth of like, do you wanna be warned of natural disasters or do you just wanna like embrace it as it happens? Because when the winds pick up here and like it starts turning, there is like a thought process in your brain where you're like, oh my gosh. Like I could really be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like this could happen. It's like a whole new, new thing for me. Okay, so leave it in the comments. Would you rather earthquake, have an earthquake on the possibility of an earthquake on the horizon or a tornado? I'm kind of liking the tornado thing. Like, I, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, like natural disasters are terrible, but I do enjoy the weather kind of. Like, it's exciting, it's different. Do you guys want to laugh? Okay, so I got a bunch of points. Obviously, I shop at Sephora for my job a lot. These are 250 points, points well spent in my opinion. 
And these are the Sephora Beauty Insider Nail Wraps. You guys know how I feel about glitter nail wraps. If you're at Sephora and you have points to spend, I would recommend grabbing these because it's the easiest manicure ever. Speaking of which, ooh, I need help. Those of you in the Dallas area, leave me in the comments a good recommendation for a nail salon. Not the most important thing in the world, but I have not had the greatest of luck. Okay, moving on. This was actually sent to me in PR, but it is something new on display in Sephora, so I thought I may as well show it to you guys and chat about it for a brief moment. You guys know how I feel about cream blush. Me and cream blush, especially with warmer weather, I love it. What I like about this kind of a package is you can easily kind of hit the lips and go on the cheeks and just kind of blend it out. The colors look beautiful, so I will let you know how it goes. That's really pretty. It's kind of like a kind of a nice tint. There's not too much pigment, but they're bright, really pretty packaging, and that is new. What else is new that like stopped me right in my tracks, and really it was kind of a display that was picked over. There wasn't as much there as maybe I had wanted as far as like a lip liner or something like that. So I think I am gonna order more online I was just so curious on the spot to try out Gwen Stefani's new line. This is the I See in Color Multi-Dimensional Eyeshadow Quad, and this is in Danger Zone. I have no idea if this is gonna be a hit or a miss. I didn't even swatch it, nothing. Oh no, I got the wrong one. Gosh dang it. The one I thought I got was like more, wait a second. I'm... Is that supposed to do that? It just popped out. Uh, I thought maybe there would be like a brush underneath or something. Um, okay, I don't know that it was meant to do that. Okay, I will be playing with this. I will order more. And if you want me to do a dedicated video on this new brand, let me know. Can we talk about it? I am so in love. Danessa Merricks. Danessa, these eye pigments. I cannot, like I literally cannot. I need to open Alien again. The dimensional quality of this product is literally, no pun intended, out of this world. I already made that joke. Whatever, we're making it again. Uh, this is beautiful. I cannot wait. I, I, I kind of want to put it on now. I was like, I cannot wait to wear this. So let's put it on right now. Let's just do it. Oh my Danessa. Are you seeing that? That is beautiful. Even myself out. I think that's so pretty. Obviously it would definitely be better with a bare lid and not like the five layers of cream shadow I am already wearing. But this color is just like doing something for me. It is dimensional. It is warm. It is golden. It is super, super flattering. And the Danessa Merrick's line is one that I have been super impressed by. And I will give you a behind the scenes, uh, a little bit of knowledge. I have worn her product. Carlene Kay did my makeup for the Halo photo shoots. And on the body to kind of juice up the skin and highlight the skin, we used a lot of these balms. And at the time it was only available for professionals. So I'm so excited to see this line make its way in Sephora where it's more readily available for every consumer out there. They are beautiful products, so well-made. I tried a bunch of it when I was doing test makeup for Erica's wedding, which I'm gonna be doing her wedding makeup. I will try as much as I can to capture that on her big day, but we did a test and we did use some of Danessa's makeup for that. So I give the line a big, huge, huge thumbs up. If you're at Sephora, check it out. I did pick up a new skin item. This is the Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm from Glow Recipe. I'm super curious to see what it smells like. The ingredients look pretty good. Oh, yum. That's like light and definitely papaya-ish. Yummy. And I like just the color. How pretty is this? Ooh. This is one of the first things I put in my basket, the Blot and Glow Touch-Up Kit from Rare Beauty. I could probably use a touch-up at this point, so let's dive on in and see what this is about. It is a talc-free formula. 
Ta -da, ta -da. Oh, what the heck? I thought there was powder in here. Um, okay, it's just blotting sheets. <laughs> All right, I thought this was actual for some reason, um, like a pressed powder. Okay, well, let's just get our blot on and see what this is about. Okay, let's pick off some of my makeup, so that's not good. I don't know how I feel about these blotting papers. I literally thought it was something else. Moving on. Uh, I have deodorant. I always get so many recommendations. When we start talking about deodorant, the comments go off. And I like it because I'm always learning, trying. And uh, for me, aluminum, people are like, Tati, it's proven that it's not a problem. That is fine. However, I don't like my armpits to itch and aluminum and deodorant actually makes me itch. And I will just be like, like, and that's gross. So I need something on the natural end of the spectrum. This literally is fragrance free. I really wanted the clean scent, but I'm like, yo, everything is rashing your underarm area. Like, so please like, just like stop. I am so sad to report that one of my favorites that um, Maison number four, the one that I'm like, this smells like my favorite fragrance that started irritating me. I don't know what happened if it's just the stress of moving, but I have become even more sensitive to some ingredients I put on my body. Specifically fragrance is setting me off and very specifically like, let's like, We'll talk about my armpits for five minutes, but deodorant has just been like an issue. But also I got this, which is so weird because it's like a cream, I guess. Do you like have to use your fingers to rub your armpits? No, oh, you don't. It's a rollerball. Let's just like, let's, let's, we're all friends. It's fine. I'm just gonna put deodorant on right now. Right now in the middle of filming this, oh, it is, it's a little, it's a little wet, but let's, hope for the best because I don't want to stink. Oh, you know what else? Like side note, I have been doing, <laughs> let's continue. Let's just continue with the armpits for a moment more. It, it's fine. Um, I have been doing detox armpit masks, right? You literally make a mud mask, you put it on your face and you know what, why not? If you're in your bathroom, you're already doing all your beauty things, just take some of that mud and put it underneath your arms. It will help pull out the toxins. We tend to sweat a lot of toxins out through our underarms and it's necessary to make sure that things are like not clogged up. The air lymphatic system is moving the correct way and that you are able to detoxify. It's a helpful thing to do. Have you guys ever tried that? It's um, bentonite clay, yes. Get it at Whole Foods at your grocery store. Ooh, I wanted to try this ASAP. This is the Say, Glowy Super Gel in Sun Glow. The arms are out. They are not as toned and buff as I would like them to be just yet. I have hope. I am still in my workout season of life. I am still doing that whole thing. I'm eating well, I'm sleeping well. I feel really good. Like my energy has changed and like, it's so nice to actually have somewhat of a routine. Like I, I do two, three days a week. I'm not superwoman like charging it up every day, but I have seen a difference in my body just in a couple of months of lifting weights again. Anyway, the arms are not where I want them to be, where they used to be. And like, I'm a little self-conscious. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little self-conscious. I'll like see my arm waggling about and I'm like, oh, like you used to be like, oh, like nothing moved. Like what happened? So a quick fix, if you're in the process of addressing anything, um, with your body or like for me, like the texture of the skin, like just like I want things to be tight and smooth. That's my, um, in my mind, what I would like for me. We all have different opinions, but for me, I'm like tight and smooth and glowing. At least I can get the smooth and glowing part down and then I can like deal with this wiggly whatever as I continue to lift weights. So let's check it out. I really liked the color of this one. It's just very bronzy. It's not overly orange and it had some really just gorgeous, nourishing ingredients. It doesn't have much of a scent, which you guys, I really am okay with. Let's just keep it going. Oh, <laughs> you might be bored. I talk about this so much. I legit had to pick this up because I was scraping the bottom of the jar. I use this every day, twice a day. It is my favorite moisturizer. I love this so much that Erica is getting married in like a month 
in a few days. And I trust this enough. I would never recommend for a bride to like switch up their skincare last minute. But I was like, switch it, do it. You will like it. It will plush up your skin. Your makeup will go on so smooth. So I picked this up again. This turned into like, I don't know, this crazy obsession. This is not sponsored. I'm not paid to say it. I got sponsored by them in a previous video. So like said and done, but I am continuing to gush because this is something that needs to be discovered and tried. Go get a sample at Sephora. You will not be disappointed. We have Tarte concealer. This is the Power Flex. I could not remember if I had tried this or not, but it looked new. There was like a brand new, like beautiful, soothing, like this concealer is so good, change your life. And you know, whenever I get that feeling of like, this could change my life, I put it in the basket and I try it and you know, we see. We see. I also got Forget the Filler Overnight Plumping Lip Mask. Oh my goodness. You guys know I've been just looking for that correct right one and I love Lawless and I trust the ingredients that they use. I mean, I don't know about you, but like when you are loading up your lips at night, you know you're gonna be like kind of eating it. Like you know you are. You're gonna kiss your man goodnight. You're gonna kiss your woman goodnight. You're gonna, you know, whatever. You say goodnight, honey, and you know, do you know what I mean? Like you're eating it and you don't want disgusting ingredients being ingested as you are sleeping, but also to have a nice treatment overnight is like really great. So Lawless is a clean formulated um, brand that I really, really love. I'm wearing Lawless eyeshadow today. Speaking of which, I got the Lawless, the little one, the eyeshadow palette. I really like that their shadows are talc free. I will say, and I'm not, I don't, I didn't invent the color brown. So I'm like, or orange. I'm not saying this like any shade at all. I'm like, it would be weird if I was. Um, because like my brand does not exist anymore. Hey, it just doesn't. So sad, so sad. I was on the Talk to Beauty Instagram the other night and I was like, it was beautiful. <sighs> and um, cause it's, it's still online. Anyway, I loved that color palette, but we all know it's gone. So I'm gonna give you a recommendation of something that is awesome, that is talc free, that gives me a lot of the feels of that palette. I'm curious if you agree or not, right? It's like an on the go travel with this really cute setup. You have two shimmers in here. You've got a really rich black. You've got that nice kind of creamy smooth matte orange. You've got some browns, a great transition color. You have a beautiful cream toned matte kind of white creamy color. I just think this is really gorgeous and I have been loving the Lawless formula and I have noticed that talc for me can send my eyes into a little bit of a burning thing and that when I use more mineral based, more talc free formula, um, I do better with it. So back using this one again, I had the larger palette once upon a time um, but wanted to pick up that smaller one. And then what else? We're almost done. Ooh, I did want to show you guys. I picked up this shade Umber from Ilia. I actually am so loving these. You guys know I did not like their powder shadow, but this, oh my gosh, this formula is creamy and smooth, dries down really beautifully, wears for a super long time and I have been loving it, not irritating to the skin at all. And so I wanted to get the more burgundy shade. I have from Milk the Bionic Glow in the shade Virtual. All right, that's a little more pinky than I thought, but I will play with it. Oh, it's a lot more pinky than I thought. It's like a highlighter. I thought it was like a body thing. You know what, we're just gonna keep it moving. I also got some mascara, the Rise Mascara from Milk Makeup. I always love trying new mascaras, especially because I have cooled it quite a bit with the lashes. I will share with you though, Erica and I found the perfect lashes from Velour Lashes and we're using them for her wedding and I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like keep it in for a moment, but they're the they're the best. They're the best lashes. She'd be like, girl, shut your mouth right now. Don't tell everyone my wedding makeup. Um, but yes, I have not been into lashes much at all, but these ones, like you can have the worst makeup on ever and they're just like beautiful and somehow look dramatic and kind of 
kind of like you can get away with it during the day at the same time. So really excited about that. But for the most part, I kind of feel a little bit ridiculous wearing lashes during the day. I don't know why, I just have toned it down enough that I really rely on a good mascara. I have been super loving the Kosas mascara. What I figured out with that one, and it's what I'm wearing today, is if you let the first coat dry and then go in hard, like go back in and really pull through and you can thicken up your lashes to look like they are falsies or just that you have thicker, healthier, fuller lashes. So I've been doing that, um, but I am really intrigued to try this one from Milk. I also did get a red lippy from Gwen's new line because she wears a red well. And I thought if there is something in this line that is done to perfection, it definitely would be a red lip. So this is, I'm still here. And this is called the original recipe, I believe. Okay, yeah, that is, that is, whoo, that is, smells nice, it smells like cupcakes. Uh, that's gonna need some precision and a magnifying mirror because that is a bold red, but my oh my, is that super, super smooth. I'm excited to try it. So I did get a lipstick from Merit in the shade Baby. I thought the packaging was so beautiful and unique. How gorgeous is that, right? So let's all have a laugh. It's another nude, nothing I need, but everything I wanted. Ooh, that is really nice. I like it. This is like the longest haul ever. You guys, I got sent a laser like an at-home laser, and I have seen this online. Like the before and afters look pretty ridiculous. This is not sponsored, but they did send it to me. This is the Nira skincare laser. Should I do a laser at home? Could this be dangerous? It says to use it around the eyes, which is kind of terrifying. Have any of you guys heard of this? It looks so legit. Like it has all like the approvals and like do this, do like, mm -mm. it looks like something you would see in a doctor's office. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I have, you know, I was talking about it in my uh, most recent skincare IG story. I was like, I have not done anything to my skin. Like I have not gotten a facial. I have not done a laser. I have not gotten Botox. And I kind of want to do a refresh, but how nice would it be to have something you can use at home that's not just like a massaging tool. I have tons of that, but is an actual laser get out of here. I'm excited. All right, you guys. So that is where we land. That is so much new makeup. Let me know what you want to see in action the most. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, being a little on the go, kick back, and just talking about all of the things that uh, that I'm attracted to in the beauty world right now and just going through it. I love filming these kind of videos. And also I don't have a studio just yet, but we are getting closer. I will link below my moving vlog and then a little bit of a home tour. Everything is wrecked and torn to bits and you know, the other day I looked at James and I'm like, well, there's like no turning back now. We're already in it. So we're going through the process of renovating a few things, but soon I shall have a beautiful, bright, gorgeous new studio to film in and try all this stuff at an actual desk with the right lighting and the right sound. But I really, really appreciate you guys supporting me until I get to that next step. So thank you all so much. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah.